Good morning. He keeps being unbelievably cute with me because he does it when he wants to be like rolls around on the floor. He keeps rolling around on the Oh my god, what happened? I'm planting at six in the morning. <laughs> I'll get you food after I've like done my moisturising, okay? Yeah. Who likes my washed hair thing? <laughs> what should we call it? The um the something that was zoomed in and it, you could see my skin but my body work. Yesterday's vlog was like nine minutes long of me and Lucy just being weird. It's only 17 minutes past six and I have to be out the house by like 20 past seven, so I'm fine. Just need to make my tea. Oh my god. That's usually the first thing I do and then it's gotten weird that it's not the first thing I've done. I don't think I should wash my hair and dry it in the morning. I'm just about to get dressed. I've dried my hair off. I washed it quite quickly this morning. Like I said, I usually don't wash my hair in the morning, but um, uh, this morning it was eccentric and it needed washing. It looked so bad. Let me just find my uniform, which I'm so good at doing, right? Oh, it's a shirt here. Shocker, I'm playing that again also. I wore this for bed. Only work, only wake for tea. Did you leave your shirt in here? What, when, why were you shouting about a shirt? Currently trying to find an a 12 to 13 size shirt because the 11 to 12 doesn't fit me anymore but it's kind of still sad that I'm two years below my age in shirt size. It is freezing. What temperature is it? I don't know. This is, this is the aftermath of being in the cold. <laughs> my hands, I can't feel my hands. We're about to go to McDonald's. Um, hello. Um, Lucy, what do you usually get from McDonald's? Oh, I think this causes for a large Big Mac meal, okay. I usually get six nuggets, medium fries, and a Darren McFlurry. I tried a chocolate orange McFlurry once, it was quite nice. But I think it was like a Christmas thing. My nose is red, you can tell it's freezing. <laughs> amazing Woo. and I'm freezing and this is a warm bag so I'm just like keeping my hands on the McDonald's bag comment what you get when you go to McDonald's I'm really interested actually to see what people have for McDonald's when I don't what would you get from McDonald's if you had it often a salad you probably would not you you get a coffee you definitely get coffee I would get a coffee and a chicken snack wrap yeah um i'm more like my dad with caffeine and lucy's more like you because he he drinks more tea and you drink more coffee and That's you you seriously she has like coffee like loads of coffee two a day three yesterday. three yesterday i consume about two cups of tea a day maybe probably more it just depends on how i'm feeling we're jamming to annie by the way and tea has just as much caffeine as I know tea has no caffeine. It's probably the reason I'm usually quite hyper. I need to go get dressed into something more comfy since it's Wednesday and I've got my McDonald's. Oh, my room's really dark. Oh my gosh. Let's turn the light on. Actually, let's just open the blinds. Um, what are we gonna wear? Something that's warm. I don't care what it looks like as long as it's warm. I'm in the mood to wear my blue jumper, but I don't know where that is. I'll tell you what, I'll just wear my Supergirl hoodie with my Betty Cooper shirt underneath. <laughs> oh, Riverdale's tomorrow, actually. Riverdale episode something from season two comes out tomorrow. Now for the Supergirl sweat. I actually went to Casa. She was like, oh, I can't tell you. What are you doing? She found out I have the, a bigger fries. Than... It's a Big Mac meal. They're messing up today. Mom. <laughs> They've given Lucy the wrong size fries and I'm just freaking out. Obviously, I'm going to watch Netflix. Just give me a second. Also, the chill outfit of the night is my Supergirl um, hoodie thing with my Home Alone pajama bottoms because I'm obsessed with Home Alone all year round. Like for me, it's not just a Christmas thing. There's always that one Christmas film that you're obsessed with and Home Alone is mine and I found these in Asda. 
Asda. Now I found these in Primark and I was like, okay, I've got to get them. If you want to see that vlog, it's somewhere in Vlogmas. Um, you know that Vlogmas that I kept up to date with so well. <laughs> Ate as much as I can, so I'm just gonna go grab my McFlurry. Okay. What kind of McFlurries do you like? Because my favourite is the Terry Milk one. I just nearly put a thousand pound on on Amy's on Lucy's dinner money. <laughs> I just went. is it in the freezer? It is. Okay. I love Dairy Milk McFlurries. I love it and I'm so hungry right now also. Here's my Tom Hiddleston calendar. Still hanging in there. It's my favourite calendar ever. This is my setup with like my Coca-Cola on my chair because I need I don't have like a bedside table so I have to rest it there so I can sit there and yeah. Have you ever tasted Coca-Cola after eating a McFlurry? Also, um I my lips got really cold so they've like swollen slightly at the top. So, oh. when you taste this after you've eaten a McFlurry, it does not taste good. I'm also watching Zoella's Florida vlogs because I'm in the mood to go to Florida, but I'm still in England. Someone send me to Florida, please. Also, I've noticed my vlogs have been getting slightly longer. I mean, by slightly, I mean like slightly, but I've been getting better at this filming thing and it's easier to edit without music. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was bored, so now I'm watching 17 Questions with Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Yes! Now I'm watching the Zac Efron one. <laughs> oh, I've been tired for so long. It's kind of like when I get home from school, I'm always so run down. Like, I don't mean to be run down, but I just am. I'm usually, like, I was, I'm usually am productive, but I'm giving myself about two weeks break after my mock exams because that was a stressful week. But I turned out doing okay. Like I said, I think I, think I mentioned it yesterday or this morning. I think I mentioned it this morning. As you probably just saw, I was watching these 73 questions Vogue things because I saw one with Daniel Radcliffe and I've never seen it before and I was like, Daniel what? In case you did not know, I love Harry Potter so much. I need to take my plate downstairs and then I think I'm going to come back up and just try and relax with some La La Land music, hopefully. I'm just gonna edit when I go downstairs as well. Yay. Who remembers the book I was reading, Undercover Princess? Um, basically in the book there are three houses and this is the only house quiz I could find online. Basically the three houses are Ivy, Stratus and Conch. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna get actually because I've never thought, oh I'm definitely in that one. I just, okay let's let's take this and see which house i'm in because ivy's purple yellow's stratus and country's red summer exams are coming up this week where are you in your dorm cramming notes stress eating cookies enjoying the sun in the school gardens there's still plenty of time to study in the library of your study group probably that one you're stuck on a desert island with one rwch character rosewood chronicles um ooh. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna have to say that I would like to be stuck on a desert island with Jamie. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with intelligence, maybe. Rules are made to be broken there for a reason, there for a reason, I believe that. I mean, Ivy, I am so happy with that, yes! Oh, oh, I mean, Ivy, you know, I actually said to my mom a few weeks ago, I was like, I think if I was gonna be in any house, I'd really, really wanna be in Ivy, and I was in Ivy, oh my god, I got Ivy, ah! Until they release, like, an official one, I'm just gonna go along with this. I'm so happy to be, I, I was like, what am I gonna be? I was, like, so scared, but I got Ivy. Yes! Oh my gosh, I love that. My symbol's a stag, which is Harry Potter's Patronus, so I'm good. Look, I got Ivy. I'm so happy with that. Oh, I cannot complain. Ooh, there's a few more tests. There's which the Flash character are you? I've never taken this one. <gasps> Watch me about to take it now. How much of a geek are you? Um, hmm, I know a lot about science and technology. <laughs> what kind of hero are you? Um, Loyal and supportive. When stressed or depressed, you seek comfort in shopping, definitely. What kind of leader are you? I'd say supportive. I got Caitlyn. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Oh, oh, they've got a supernatural one. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna tell the answer. If you had your choice, you'd most like to be immortal. Know when you're going to die. I would not want to know that. Have a ton of money, telekinetic powers. The only reason I'm going to put ton of money is because I don't really want telekinetic powers. I don't want to be immortal. I don't... This one seems like the only human option. That's... I'm not being selfish here. 
I got Bobby. Would you look at that? I've got Bobby. I got Bobby. <laughs> most person I most like from Supernatural is Bobby. Time for the Gossip Girl one. I have never taken this one ever, and I am so interested because I love Gossip Girl. Okay, pick a pattern. Um, that one. <laughs> Which street would you want to live on? Oh, but they're all so cute. I think I would like to live on that one. That one's the first one I thought of when I saw it. Which city is better than New York City? Oh my god, but there's so many. I like London, I like LA, and I like Paris. Those are like the three I've always wanted to go to. But if I could pick one to go to, well, I'm going, ah, London's easy, but Paris. I love Paris. I got Georgina, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. You're one step away from a criminal mastermind. Oh, I feel great now, I got Georgina Sparks. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is cool though, Georgina is quite sassy. You're basically a genius, genius and it's other people's fault if they can't see how flawless you are. Well, thank you, I never knew Georgina was that great. I I'm not really keen on her character, but I like her description. Someone says, what percent Blur and what percent Serena are you? Okay. Choose a New York City landmark. Um, the Statue of Liberty. Pick a destination to run away to. Oh, Paris, 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 Paris. And finally, what is the most important to you in your life? Happy I'd say love because that's just great. Oh my God, okay. I got 61% Blur and 39% Serena, so I'm more like Blur than I am Serena. Which Disney classic cartoon are you? I want to know. Pick a Disneyland ride. Which one's my favourite? Oh, I like Mad Tea Party, but I do love Splash Mountain. What word best describes you? Um, I'd say classy. <laughs> Pick a Looney Tunes. Ooh, I like Tweety Bird. What is your favourite Pixar movie? Oh my- Oh no, it's between Brave and um, Finding Nemo. Um, Finding Nemo, because I used to love that when I was younger. I got Minnie Mouse. I'm as cute as a button, but I keep a smile on my face apparently. I'm so proud of that result. I love Minnie Mouse, in case you didn't know. I love this vlog has gone on long enough of me just taking random quizzes. I am so sorry, but I will see you tomorrow. Hi, today is Thursday the 1st of February. It's finally February, which makes me so excited because I love February. January's over. So, you know, there's always that one month that you don't know what to do during. Mine's January, so now that that month's over, I think I'm gonna feel a little bit more productive. Um, plus my birthday's in 11 days, so yay! I put my main channel video up this morning. It was my January favourites, so go watch that. Bang on, 1st of February. I was just lucky the 1st of February was a Thursday. Otherwise, I'd have to postpone it to next Thursday. <sighs> I'm out of breath from just talking, what the hell? But yesterday, I got quite a lot of footage. Like, for me, like, from my perspective, I got quite a lot of footage. But I thought I'd combine it with today anyway. Um, to make it a longer vlog, because I've noticed a lot of people like the long ones more than the short ones. Once again, I am listening to La La Land on my phone. No judgement. I'm probably going to connect it to the speaker again. Because this morning I've been very productive. I woke up at quarter to six, I think. So I've been up for an hour. Had bagels for breakfast because my mum shopped and she got bagels. In case you did not know, I have some sort of bagel obsession, as well as crumpet obsession. But let's not go into that right now <laughs> we find out who plays who in our school performance of annie tomorrow which i'm excited about because i really want to see who gets who and i'm like not really in it i'm just helping out but um lucy auditions she did really well also today my lessons are pretty like thursday is not that bad i think the only lesson i would cut out of fr thursday is french like not that i don't like french it's just it's quite hard to get to grips with. Like, me with a new language just does not work. I'm more of a science English kind of person. Also, I was talking to my family and I've always wanted to go to Paris. And I've never been to Paris before. And I was thinking maybe if um, we saved up our money to go to Paris. Because I really want to see the Eiffel Tower. But it's going to be a bit awkward if I can't speak French. <laughs> so, I'm just like, I don't like... Like, I'm, I'm not keen on the lesson language French, but I do like France. I've been to France once and that was on a school trip. Which one are we gonna put on? Ah, it'll probably just play automatically. This one's my favourite. My favourite, one of my favourite scenes is this whole scene. Like, the um, bathroom mirror, 
and when her friends are trying to convince her to go to the party and then they start singing my favourite song ah! I'm dressed and I just put a cardigan on because I'm freezing and I just need to sort my makeup out um, I, if you, in case you didn't notice, I do do makeup every day but that's just because there's some areas that just need coverage and on the camera it doesn't look that bad but for me it's just oh, what do you think? do you think I should just go no makeup today? I, it wouldn't be that bad actually I think I just need to put concealer on some areas and that's it also, I forgot to mention my red bubble order dispatched or was posted um, yesterday. Um, so it will be coming between today and the 5th, and the 5th is Monday. So we'll just have to see when it arrives. I'm so excited for it to arrive. Could you have any guesses to what it might be associated with? Really? Any? Soundtrack? Hint? <laughs> if you've watched my vlog channel for a while, then you. You know what one of my favourite musicals are. I'm just about to post some pictures on Instagram that I took the other day on my camera. And uh, also, I forgot to mention... What did I forget to mention? You know when you're going to mention something and then you forget? I never usually film on the way to school. Where's this beak like? It's here. Look at the big moon. Look at that massive oh, moon over there. It's bigger than it's usual. Oh, bigger than Lucy's edge. Hi, I'm home from school now, still wearing this leopard print jacket because it's cool. I've got my super girl hoodie on, but I'm just gonna get changed so I can watch Riverdale because Riverdale came out on Netflix. There's a shirt that I wanted to wear. Oh, I could always wear the River Vixen one. Might do that actually, that's a good idea. But then again, I really wanted to wear this one. I like this knitted one. The stresses right now. I'll wear the knitted one. I like the knitted one. The knitted one's nice. I don't think I've ever worn this shirt on this vlog channel. Like, I wore it on my old vlog channel, and <laughs> if you're wondering about that, it's called Apple Rose. It was my old one from like 2016. And yeah, it's pink. You probably can't tell from the lighting. It's pink, and yeah. It's similar to one I've worn before, but it, this one's got like a knitted pattern, so it's a bit different. I'm just um, going to do some editing, eat, and watch Riverdale. What <laughs> what just happened in that ending? It was just like Alice Cooper, like on the floor cleaning up blood. What is going on? I'm so confused. I think I'm going to end this vlog here, so I might vlog tomorrow. I don't think I'll be vlogging tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I've been doing quite well with daily, but I think I can take a few days off. So. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.